Hi. So, Omezui Okereke is one of the most dedicated followers of this channel. Shout out to you, man. This brother has been here for almost day one. So, the other day on Twitter, he asked me if I could do a teardown of the Techno Camo 15 Pro. Yes, I accepted to do it, but the problem is I can't find that phone in my city for months now and if you notice i haven't even um, done a review of that phone officially and that is because of lockdown situations due to a lot of coronavirus cases that i am emanating up and down this city is full of foreigners who come in here to work and so we are very prone to coronavirus but i thought of it i'm like since i already have the infinix s5 pro and it turns out that the infinix s5 pro and the techno Camon 15 premier are basically the same phones in different shells why don't I just go ahead and tear down the um, Infinix S5 Pro? Let's take a look at the internals while we wait for the um, Techno Camo 15 Premier. So that's what we're going to be doing today, right? Okay, so one of the first things we're going to be needing to do this is going to be some clinical ethanol. The second one is going to be a razor. Thirdly, it's going to be a screwdriver. And then finally, a pocket knife that we're going to be using later on in the video. So starting off here, we're going to be dipping the razor inside the ethanol and then use it to try to create an incision beside the device. Now, the reason why I dip it inside the ethanol is so that the ethanol will melt the adhesive that is holding this plastic back or that is gluing this plastic back to the device. Now, I can't use heat on this because if I apply heat on this, plastic is plastic and plastic is definitely going to melt. So as soon as the incision has been created, I'm going to use some Naira notes here. Pardon me, I just realized I couldn't find some plastic cards in my house. So the nearest thing I could use was just some Naira notes. The adhesive that is holding this thing together is pretty strong. So I keep putting the Naira notes inside the ethanol and using it to try to um, soften up the adhesive while I'm trying to take off the back cover. So after taking out this back cover, there are a couple of screws here that are holding the entire frame together. But let's first of all take out these screws that are holding this lens cover and bring it off and so we can take a look at that motorized selfie camera. So the next thing is I'm going to take out the remaining screws that are holding the entire frame together. Let's go in and take a closer look at that motorized selfie mechanism.
So after taking that off, I'm going to also unclip these ribbon cables here that belong to the selfie cameras. Then also we take out some screws here that are holding the motherboard down to the frame so we can actually see what it looks like here. After taking out the board, I realized that there are a couple of screws here that are holding down the um, selfie camera to the carcass of the device. So this is the motorized selfie mechanism that drives the camera up and down and it makes contact with the board at this point here. So each time you pop the camera up from your camera app, this device triggers and drives this selfie camera up and bring it out to you and when you see retract it to drive it back in pretty cool stuff eh? the main selfie camera itself is nothing but a regular camera that is just wrapped inside this thing so that it will be able to drive up and down so moving over now to the board we are going to unclip the main lens here which is that 48 megapixel lens or so we are told but the truth is this is not actually a 48 megapixel lens this is actually a 13 megapixel lens and besides this is the same lens that came inside the techno camon 12 and also the mediatek helio p35 that runs on this device is not capable of 48 megapixel it's only capable of 13 megapixel by 2 which is maximum 25 megapixels and of course no ois so it's just a regular lens then also this is the 2 megapixel depth sensor that is responsible for your bokeh and depth of field. Then taking a look at the main board is nothing like what we've never seen before. It's still the same kind of style and design and materials from previous generations of these devices. So that's a look at the Infinix S5 Pro from inside. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. My name is Kingsley. On this channel, we talk about tech reviews. We do DIY stuff. We talk about tech history. So if you like good tech content just like this one, please consider subscribing, all right? So I'll catch you again in the next one.